హలో నమస్కారం ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ మురళీ మనోహర్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై లెక్చర్ ఆయుర్వేద సంహిత ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వీ విల్ బి లర్నింగ్ అండ్ నోయింగ్ అబౌట్ ఎన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ అండ్ సమ్ పవర్ఫుల్ ఏన్షియంట్ ఇండియన్ ఆయుర్వేదిక్ సీక్రెట్స్ దీస్ కెన్ చేంజ్ అండ్ ఇంప్రూవ్ యువర్ ఎంటైర్ లైఫ్ this program i will be talking about psoriatic arthritis and ayurvedic treatment psoriatic arthritis is a form of arthritis that affects some people who have psoriasis and psoriasis is a condition that features red patches of skin topped with silvery scales most people develop psoriasis first and are later diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis but the joint problems can sometimes begin before skin lesions appear this condition can be compared to amavata described in ayurveda thanks to excellent anti-inflammatory ayurvedic herbs and disease modifying ayurvedic panchakarma treatments joint pain stiffness and swelling are the main symptoms of psoriatic arthritis they can affect any part of your body including your fingertips and spine and can range from relatively mild to severe in both psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis disease flares may alternate with periods of remission that is symptom free condition regarding the ayurvedic treatment the focus is on controlling symptoms and preventing damage to your joints without treatment psoriatic arthritis may be disabling now let us know the symptoms both psoriatic arthritis and psoriasis are chronic diseases that get worse over time but you may have periods when your symptoms improve or go into remission alternating with times when symptoms become worse psoriatic arthritis can affect joints on just one side or on both sides of your body the signs and symptoms of psoriatic arthritis often resemble those of rheumatoid arthritis both diseases cause joints to become painful swollen and warm to the touch however psoriatic arthritis is more likely to also cause swollen fingers and toes psoriatic arthritis can cause a painful sausage like swelling of your fingers and toes you may also develop swelling and deformities in your hands and feet before having significant joint symptoms another main symptom foot pain psoriatic arthritis can also cause pain at the points where tendons and ligaments attach to your bones especially at the back of your heel known as achilles tendinitis or in the sole of your foot known as plantar fasciitis another main symptom lower back pain some people develop a condition called spondylitis as a result of psoriatic arthritis spondylitis mainly causes inflammation of the joints between the vertebra of your spine and in the joints between your spine and pelvis if it happens so that is termed as sacroiliitis then when to see me when to seek the medical advice this is important to know if you have psoriasis be sure to tell me if you develop joint pain 
thoracic arthritis can come on suddenly or develop slowly but in either case it can severely damage your joints if left untreated okay then let us know the causes thoracic arthritis occurs when your body's immune system begins to attack healthy cells and tissue the abnormal immune response causes inflammation in your joints as well as overproduction of skin cells it's not entirely clear why the immune system turns on healthy tissue but it seems likely that both genetic and environmental factors play a role many people with psoriatic arthritis have a family history of either psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis researchers have discovered certain genetic markers that appear to be associated with psoriatic arthritis physical trauma or something in the environment such as viral or bacterial infection may trigger psoriatic arthritis in people with an inherited tendency now let us know the risk factors several factors can increase your risk of psoriatic arthritis including psoriasis having psoriasis is the single greatest risk factor for developing psoriatic arthritis people who have psoriasis lesions on their nails are especially likely to develop psoriatic arthritis and your family history is another risk many people with psoriatic arthritis have a parent or a sibling with the disease and your age is another risk although anyone can develop psoriatic arthritis it occurs most often in adults between the ages of 30 and 50 now let us know the complications a small percentage of people with psoriatic arthritis develop arthritis mutilans a severe painful and disabling form of the disease over time arthritis mutilans destroys the small bones in your hands especially the fingers leading to a permanent deformity and disability known as claw hand deformity then what you can do before your appointment you may want to write a list of answers to the main following questions what types of symptoms are you having and when did they begin do you or any of your close family members have psoriasis has anyone in your immediate family ever had psoriatic arthritis and what medications and supplements do you take you may want to bring a friend or family member with you to your appointment it's hard to remember everything about a complicated condition and another person may remember information that you miss then what to expect from me what to expect from the treatment i may ask some of the following questions what joints are affected are there any activities or positions that make your symptoms better or worse what treatments have you already tried how any of them helped then let us know the tests and diagnosis during the exam i may closely examine your joints for signs of swelling or tenderness by just pressing hard i may check your finger nails for pitting flaking or other abnormalities i may press on the soles of your feet and around your heels to find tender areas and my friends no single test can confirm a diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis but 
some times of some types of tests can rule out other causes of joint pain such as rheumatoid arthritis or gout say for example imaging tests especially x-rays plain x-rays can help pinpoint changes in the joints and occur in psoriatic arthritis but not in other arthritic conditions another imaging test magnetic resonance imaging mri mri utilizes radio waves and a strong magnetic field to produce very detailed images of both hard and soft tissues in your body this type of imaging test may be used to check for the problems with the tendons and ligaments in your feet and lower back and coming to the laboratory tests rheumatoid factor test rf is important test rf is an antibody that's often present in the blood of people with rheumatoid arthritis but it's not usually in the blood of people with psoriatic arthritis for that reason this test can help me distinguish between the two conditions another blood test joint fluid test using a long needle your investigator can remove a small sample of fluid from one of your affected joints of in the knee uric acid crystals in your joint fluid may indicate that you have gout rather than psoriatic arthritis Ayurvedic treatment focuses on controlling inflammation in your affected joints to prevent joint pain and disability. And there are certain suggestions and guidelines. The most important suggestion protect your joints. Changing the way you carry out everyday tasks can make a tremendous difference in how you feel. For example, you can avoid straining your finger joints by using gadgets such as jar openers to twist the lids from jars by lifting heavy pans or other objects with both hands and by pushing doors open with your whole body instead of just your fingers and another most important thing maintain a healthy weight Maintaining a healthy weight places less strain on your joints, leading to reduced pain and increased energy and mobility. The best way to increase nutrients while limiting calories is to eat more plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables and whole grains. And another important suggestion, exercise regularly. Exercise can help keep your joints flexible and your muscles strong types of exercises that are less stressful on joints include biking swimming and walking and another suggestion use cold and hot packs because cold has a numbing effect it can dull the sensation of pain you can apply cold several times a day for 20 or 30 minutes at a time and heat can help relax tense muscles and relieve pain and another important suggestion pace yourself battling pain and inflammation can leave you feeling exhausted the key is not to stop being active entirely but to rest before you becoming too tired divide exercise or work activities into short segments find time to relax several times throughout the day and my dear friends psoriatic arthritis can be particularly discouraging because the emotional pain that psoriasis can cause is compounded by joint pain and in some cases disability but the support of friends and family can make a tremendous difference when you are facing the physical and psychological challenges of psoriatic arthritis just having someone to talk to can give you strength for some people support groups can offer the same benefits this may be especially important 
if you are worried about burdening your loved ones ayurvedic panchakarma procedures can help you devise coping strategies to reduce your stress levels the chemicals your body releases when you are under stress can aggravate both psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis in this way with proper ayurvedic treatment and uh, uh, good uh, care you can overcome this problem so hope you have enjoyed this topic and enlightened in the next program we will be meeting with another interesting and important topic शतम जीव शरदो वर्धम शतम हेमंता शतम वसंता लिव युवर एंटायर लाइफ विद एक्सलेंट हेल्थ एंड टोटल हैप्पीने टेक् केर ऑफ युवर सेल्फ शुभम डॉक्टर चिरमावि मुरली मनोहर एम डि आयुर्वेद रक्षा आयुर्वेदिक सेंटर सारदी स्टूडियो रोड अपोजिट स्टेट होम अमीरपेट हैदराबाद 73 थ्री फोन नाइन वन डबल सेवन डबल फोर फाइव फोर फाइव फोर